In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this beanie. This finished piece is a greenish color. The yarn I use in this video is dark gray, but I use the 5mm crochet hook for both of them. We're gonna start with a slip knot. Make a chain of 18 centimeters, but make sure you have an even number. I've made 28 chains here. After that, you're going to chain up two more to turn into the fourth chain from the hook into the back loop. Work a half double crochet. For this row, you're just going to keep putting half double crochets into every stitch. When you finish your last stitch, chain up two, turn your work. Now we're going to do back post half double crochets. So yarn over, insert from the back into the first space between two half double crochets like this then insert from the front into the next space between two half double crochets yarn over pull through the first space and go ahead and pull through the next space now you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three We've worked a half double crochet around the second stitch. Now we're going to work around the third one. So insert from the back around the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then finish this half double crochet. So for this row, you're just going to keep doing this. When you finish the second last stitch, notice the last stitch is actually a chain 3. We're just going to put a regular half double crochet on top of this one. After that, chain 3, turn. The next row is going to be the star stitch row. So notice this chain 3, I'm going to insert hook into the second chain, pull yarn through, into the third one, pull through, the next 3 stitches I'm going to insert under both loops. Once you have six loops on the hook, yarn over, put through all of them. Chain one to lock this stitch up, that also forms the center of the star. Next, into the center, yarn over, put through. into this space right here yarn over pull through now into the next space we've already pulled up a loop from this one then insert into the next two stitches, pull yarn through, six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all of them. 
chain one to form the center of a star. Then you're just gonna keep repeating this. When you finish your last star, you should have one stitch left. Work a double crochet on top of that one. After that, chain two. Now you can see the other side of the star. into the center here, work two half double crochets. Into the next center, two half double crochets. So you're gonna keep doing this. When you finish the two half double crochets into the center of the last star, you should have one stitch left for this row. Work a half double crochet on top of that. Now you're going to chain up two and repeat the last four rows we've done. So the first row is a regular half double crochet row. Second one is back post half double crochet row third one is the star stitch row the fourth one is still a half double crochet row but we're going to put two into the center of each star for every row we're going to chain up two except the third row which is the star stitch row for that row we're going to chain up three so you're just going to keep repeating these four rows until it's around 60 centimeters long. Make sure you stop at the fourth row, then chain one, close this piece. Now the right side is pretty flat, like this, and the wrong side is bumpy because of the back post stitches. Now we're gonna flip it like this, slip stitch with the wrong side out. So insert on top of the chain. Insert into the loop from the other side. Pull through. Chain one. Now into the next stitches, insert under both loops of both sides. So that's under four loops. Yarn over, pull through, slip stitch. Insert under the next four loops. Slip stitch. Keep repeating this. When you finish the last one, chain one. 
You don't need to cut it yet because we're going to keep using this end. Flip the piece over. Now the next step requires you to be able to read the rows a little bit. So that's the first row. The second row appears to be a little bit shorter from this side. The third row star stitch and the fourth one is short as well. So remember those four rows. Now we're going to work the top of the beanie. So basically what we're going to do is put three stitches on top of one unit and that is four rows. I've chained two. That counts as the stitch on top of the fourth row. The third row is a star stitch row. One half double crochet on top of this row. Next, you're going to see two spaces. One belongs to the second row and the other belongs to the first one. So we're going to front post half double crochet into the second one from the front and from the back into the first one. Yarn over, pull through the two spaces, three loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through all three. So that's one unit finished. Next, find a space that belongs to the fourth row. A half double crochet on top of that one. Then a half double crochet on top of the third row, which is the star row. And a front post half double crochet between the first and the second row. When you finish the three half double crochets on top of the last unit, slip stitch on top of the chain three. chain two. So the last row we did two regular half double crochets and one front post. This row we're gonna do one regular, one front post and alternate between those. So we're gonna skip the first half double crochet, go straight into the second half double crochet, put a half double crochet on top of that. Then onto the front post half double crochet, a uh, front post half double crochet. Next, we have two regulars here. Skip the first one, straight into the second one, a regular half double crochet. The next one is a front post, so work a front post half double crochet around that. Then keep repeating this to finish this row. When you come around, slip stitch on top of the chain 2. The next row is going to be exactly the same as the one before. So one regular half double crochet on top of the regular ones. And one front post half double crochet around the front post ones. When you finish, slip stitch and chain two. 
next row is going to be a front post half double crochet row. So we're going to skip the regular half double crochet, put a front post half double crochet on top of each front post half double crochet. Slip stitch, chain up two. The last row is going to be the same as the one before. So work a front post half double crochet on top of each front post half double crochet. After that, slip stitch, chain one. Leave a long tail and cut. Now we still have a little hole here, so we're gonna use a yarn needle to sew it up. Now we're gonna work the brim of the beanie on the other end. So find the slip stitch row you made to join the two ends. So a slip knot and connect the yarn. We're still gonna work three stitches on top of four rows. chain two, skip the first row on top of the second one, a half double crochet, on top of the third row, a half double crochet, now you can see on top of the third one there are more than one space, it doesn't matter where exactly as long as the stitches of this row are evenly placed. A half double crochet on top of the fourth row. That's one unit finished. So we're just going to repeat that. A half double crochet on top of the second row. One more on top of the third one. And one more on top of the fourth one. So again, that's three stitches on top of four rows. Keep repeating that. When you come around, slip stitch on top of the chain two, chain two again to start the next row. Next row, we're gonna work a front post, half double crochet on top of each stitch. So we don't have a regular half double crochet here. We just have front post ones. Slip stitch. After that, I'm just going to work one more front post half double crochet row. After that, you can work two more or three more um, half double crochet rows. And if it's a little loose, you can finish it with a slip stitch row. So there you are, a very stylish beanie. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.